Now, be before recording this session, I rewatched my three year anniversary, which showed my commentary, my, my, I mean, my very first commentary, the first words I said in commentary and all my first videos and series. And it's like, my God, I was such a fucking brat. I mean, was such a kid, such an annoying kid on YouTube. That's what I sound like, an annoying kid on YouTube trying to be cool with Let's Plays. I'm like, really, did I, did I really do that? Um, at least I know I didn't really think about that when I did it. It was to practice my English and it was to have fun, which it is right now, still. It's still going on like that. And take the Greek ribbon. It's just that my voice has gotten way deeper and uh, I guess I, my English has improved a lot. I've seen that. I mean, I've, I've been hearing that very clearly when I compare the first to this. Uh, yes, all right, that. Now I need to just take a quick break by going to the bathroom. And then just plan ahead a little bit, and maybe I will do that in commentary, I don't know. I'm just gonna plan ahead a little bit, and then we're gonna return. So I will see you soon. Come on. Roger. Alright, uh, I'm back. Greetings, everybody. I don't know if this is a new part or not. Uh, probably not, but... Um, um, yeah, we're back after my little break. I planned ahead a little bit, and... I went ahead and put a lot of stuff uh, outside, so we have more room in here to place the things, even though the ground is very large, but the game is like, no, we can't do that. Mix uh, the, the ammunition for the shotgun right there. So what I'm gonna do now is head down to the basement again, where the whole thing started, uh, with the monkeys with Billy, just Billy, and get the map and get all the stuff that's down there with just a shotgun. And Rebecca's just gonna stand here and think about her life. So right now it looks like this. Um, outside we have uh, red herb, a knife, magnum, the one magnum ammunition, the napalm, uh, gas tank, and a case. I believe that's it, yes. And the rest is in here. So we're gonna head down to the basement. Um, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Right down here. And uh, get the map in the save room. Get the herbs, go in here, get all the sh uh, handgun ammunition. There's like three cases and a shotgun ammunition case. But there are two zombies in there. And that's why we have the shotgun ready. So let's go ahead and run. Now, while I was on my little break, um, I thought to myself uh, about this with being mediocre and being okay with that and just going with it and accepting it. Um, I think that maybe... Uh -huh! I think that maybe other people who feel like they are um, mediocre and uh, not the best and they feel like, oh, the competition on YouTube is way too hard. Everybody is so great. Maybe they can relate to me if they actually see my shit. All of this just for fucking blue herb. Oh wait, there is an ink ribbon as well, right? Yes, yeah, good. And the map. And we need that. Get it. Yes. Get out! Don't get hit again. Awesome. That went, uh, alright. So yeah, I think that may- I mean, I would feel like that way. If I saw a commentator or a peep- a, a guy on YouTube that, um, felt the same way as me. Of course, I mean, if I see someone who thinks the same way as me, of course I can relate and that makes me, like, kind of happy. Zombies? Alright, he hasn't acted. Oh, I spoke too soon. Alright, let's use the shotgun. But yeah, that's just the basic idea. I hope that um, maybe someone can relate to my shittiness. Get over here, good sir. Yeah! More gas. We already have like three gas units and the one outside. And his head is moving, right? Yes, it is. But maybe we don't need to get him active. So just get all the ammunition. And of course, it just takes one space. So that's nice. So this is what we need to do to beat Harmo. We need to plan ahead. We need to scavenge for ammunition and everything. 
Oh, 45 shots. That's amazing. Let's see if we can just go past him. Is he going to get up? Okay, good. Shotgun ammunition. Awesome. We really need that. But we also need the code for the Magnum. And in here, there shouldn't be anything, right? Yes, there are three monkeys in here! Three. Turn around, go outside. We don't need this. Nope, nope! Blah, creams! Yeah. Oh, don't. Really don't. Might as well get this. It's gonna get back upstairs. I can't carry it? What kind of sick bullshit is that? Oh, we can't. <laughs> uh, well, that's a bummer. But we don't need any more gas. But at least we know that there is gas in here. Um, nothing else to do in here, right? Nope, I don't think so. So let's run up back to the main hall, uh, leave the shit, and then head towards the water key door thing. Okay, please don't, please don't, but poison! Did I get poisoned? Okay, good. At least uh, I do have a uh, heal for it, but still I don't want to waste the blue herb right now. Or use it. So now when I got all of that um, shit out of my system of what I'm thinking and uh, how it is right now in the commentary way and in my life, I think uh, I can can leave it like that and just continue making commentary and having fun. And at least people who have seen this episode and, or these episodes, they know how it is and uh, that uh, would mean a lot to me. Um, so we don't need to go outside because we don't have the gas with us. We can at least load this go ahead and pick up the ink ribbons so at least we have uh, some saves we have eight saves right yes we do plus the one down there where we rescued rebecca we didn't get that one i believe the pistol would be nice now so exchange that give everything to her nice we get some ammunition for that and Billy will go ahead and use the shotgun. We can't leave anything more. I don't want to have the blue herb with me. I really don't. But uh, we might as well just go ahead and get um, the shotgun. So now things are looking a bit more bright. We have uh, ammunition. We have shotgun ammunition, we have pistol ammunition, we have some healings. It is all right. We are a bit hurt right now, but uh, that's okay. She has a first stage spray. Billy is a man, he can take it. We have malt of cocktails, which we actually should use. So, um, Billy, you take that. You fucking take that malt of cocktail. Because we have five of them and we need to use them. So instead of having the ammunition with us, we just go with the shotgun and this. So we first use that to soften them up, I believe, because that uh, makes them more vulnerable to damage. Dealing massive damage to certain types of enemies. Fuck, I'm so bad at that. I don't know which ones. Maybe the spiders? The insects? I guess the insects. Maybe the hunters. She has a poison heal right here. She has ammunition. Uh, we will go with this and... Did we save? Yes, we did. That was so stupid of me. I would like to save after doing this, but uh, we can save now, okay. we will have to go with this. And the water key. Of course, where is the water key? It should be... I have no idea. Maybe this one? Yes. So there's only two... I think there are two doors. There were two fire doors, so maybe there's two water doors as well. But we will go to the first one I know about and see what happens. This is so... This is so amazing, I, I mean, I'm so happy in this game, because it's fucking Resident Evil, classic Resident Evil, awesome gameplay, I know I've said this a lot, but semi-blind, so much fun, and it's hard as fucking hell. You know when I played Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 2, it's like, they're a bit too easy, Resident Evil 3 is not so easy, um, when you want to kill enemies all the time, Resident Evil 2 is too easy for me and most people 
And hopefully they will add a hard mode and uh, it will be much more interesting. Use the... What the fuck? My Fire Flower Pixel... Uh, Mario... Mario Fire Flower Pixel thing that was sitting on my screen fell down. So I'm gonna try to place it 